कनेडियन सेहत अधिकारियों ने कोविड नाइनटीन और होर सेहत चिंतावान से एक अपडेट प्रदान की है कैनेडा की मुख्य विज्ञान सलाहकार डॉक्टर मोना नेपर ने फैडरल सरकार ने पोस्ट कोविड कंडक्शन बारे सिफारशा जारी की जिन्हों लंबे कोविड भी कहा जाता है नेमर ने कहा है कि लंबे समय तो कोविड बारे सरकार को सलाह देने वाले डॉक्टर के दे एक समूह के बने पैनल ने सीटा क्डिया है तो यह स्पष्ट है कि कोविड नाइनटीन एक पुरानी बीमारी बनने के समर्थ है जिस मांसपेशिया दर्द सह लैन के तकलीफ और दिमाग तक बहुत ज्यादा थकावट के लक्षण शामिल हैं एविडेंस हैज इमर्ज समिविजुअल Infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus, may develop long-term symptoms, suggesting that COVID-19 can develop into a chronic illness. These symptoms range from muscle pain, shortness of breath, and extreme fatigue, to what's called brain fog, gastrointestinal issues, and even heart palpitations. Collectively, they've come to be known as post-COVID-19 condition or PCC. also known as long covid we don't fully understand what causes certain individuals to develop pcc or what leads to the different disease manifestations we don't know why women are twice as likely as men to contract it we don't know why it can accelerate the onset of other chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease but it is evident that pcc is a serious condition that can have at times irreversible health consequences in light of all this as the minister said i brought together experts and practitioners from across the country to provide the government with advice on ways to address pcc in canada in developing the recommendations which we are releasing today we looked at existing scientific evidence and heard from healthcare providers and people with lived experience we spoke with many people who are suffering life altering physical impairments their stories were heartbreaking one individual reported feeling trapped in their own body another said they were treated with disbelief in the workplace still others recalled feeling abandoned by their community and several reported difficulty accessing healthcare and social support most had lost their job and this is my other point beyond the health problems pcc also affects the daily lives of people from their ability to work to caring for their families to interacting with their communities and this can have significant societal impacts for example Estimates from the US suggest that 10 million people with long covid could carry an economic cost of 3.7 trillion dollars a year when you take into account lost quality of life, lost earnings and higher spending on medical care. With 1.4 million people in Canada already reporting symptoms, it's not difficult to imagine the serious ramifications for our own economy clearly the risk of the disease is not evenly distributed 